Good morning, my friends. So today I'm uh, near the Algiers main bus station on Highway 11. And uh, what I am going to do is to drive from this highway to Darbeda, then back to this highway again via National Highway 5. And now let's make things clear. National Highway 11 is the official name or the formal name of the Northern Bypass Motorway, the motorway that runs uh, or that crosses the northern part of Algiers and the section of this motorway is a, a coastal road here on my left, so the Mediterranean Sea is on my left, the Algiers Bay is on my left, okay? And uh, National Highway 5 is the, the road that we commonly call here in the city the Binaknun Motorway because it goes from uh, the eastern parts of the city or it connects the central parts of the city to Binaknun. So now I'm going to join National Highway 11 and then drive east as far as Darlbeda where the airport, the international airport of Algiers is located and then turn around and come to this area via National Highway 5 or the Binaknun Highway or motorway if you will. So now we are in the Haroba area. We have just uh, left the area of the Algiers main bus station which is uh, the largest uh, bus station, intercity bus station here in Algiers with buses going to every part of the of the national territory. Uh, the sublet walkway is on the left, there is an amusement park there. And now in order for me to go to Dalbeda, I need to drive straight on. Now if you want to go to Blida, you take the ramp on the right. That's also the, one of the roads, it's the, the Wedushayek connecting road. And uh, it's one of the roads that connect this motorway here, this uh, National Highway 11 to National Highway 5. Road. Now I am approaching a bridge that crosses the, the Harash River, Algiers' largest river, that comes from uh, the Blida Atlas Mountains, from the area of Hamdan Belwed. This is the bridge. It's beautifully de decorated with these planters on the right. Planters have some sort of uh, pine tree, and this is the the building you see on the right is uh, the Great Mosque of Algiers, the third largest mosque in the world. the tallest minaret in the world. I think that it's 264 meters tall. Check that on the internet. There is a footbridge here for uh, worshippers to cross from the parking lot that they are, I think uh, they are building here on the left to the mosque. There is another footbridge over there too with white stairs, a white stairway for the worshippers to park their cars on the left and then come and pray here on the right. It's such a huge structure that could accommodate something like uh, 200,000 worshippers. The artist's uh, mall and uh, supermarket are on the left, as well as the Algiers Fair. That footbridge over there links uh, the Semison area on the right to the Algiers Fair at the supermarket area. And Ardis is the is Algiers largest supermarket.
National Highway 11. Now I've got to overtake this uh, mini truck. Glass buildings on the on the left are uh, part of uh, a business center. They call it the the World Trade Center. And uh, the Lebanani apartment complex is on the left. It's in the area of uh, Kifan. Now, if you want to go to Babsuar, you take the the exit on the right and the area is recognizable by its uh, bridge here, the Bebsuar bridge. Burchikifan is on the, the right here. If you want to go to Burchikifan you take the right. In fact Bebsuar is on the right and Burchikifan is on the left. But as we are running on this carriageway, all entrances are on the right. And now as I'm approaching the exit, that will lead me to the Dar Beda area. I need to merge into the right lane. Because I need to make sure I don't miss it. If you miss uh, an exit here, then you, will, you, you, you might have to drive several kilometers away, further away in order to find where to turn around. Sometimes you'd even get lost. So now, yeah, airport. This is the road to the airport. Dalbeda. And Dalbeda is Arabic for uh, the White House. All right, so uh, what's this? All right, let, let's take this road here on the right. It's a little bit confusing, but uh, all right, yeah, it will lead us to the same, the same uh, road. We have just left National Highway 11, and now we are entering the airport connecting road. There is a stop sign here. I need to wait for traffic to pass, oncoming traffic to pass before I merge in. I merge onto this road. The area is beautifully uh, lined with uh, palm trees. In fact, uh, vegetation, the vegetation vegetation is so lush, so beautiful, because it's been raining a lot lately. Much to the pleasure of the farmers, but also to to everyone, because uh, Algeria needs water. We have had, we have been having uh, water shortages lately. So now, as it's raining, uh, our surface water reserves are going to to be replenished. So this is the Soma apartment complex. It's on the right. If you want to go to Bebsuar, you can take this turn here on the right. But we are driving towards the airport and the National Highway 5. There is an entrance here to Bebsuar as well. Too bad they didn't put a sign to indicate where that, uh, that exit leads. 
There are beautiful class buildings here, including hotels and uh, the headquarters of some companies. Now I've got to overtake this vehicle. It's an SUV. The, the airport hotel is on the left, and, and we are in fact in the, the area of the airport. I should be able to film the part of the airport, the international airport, the industrial zone and the tunnel bit are on the right. The industrial, the West Samar industrial zone. Alright, so now <laughs> let's take the bleed up road. In order to enter National Highway 5. There is a hotel over there, Hyatt, Hyatt Regency. It's near the airport. At the international Airport, the terminal of the International Airport is on the left. Too bad I can't film it for you. It's a, a new building that was uh, Inaugurated in 2019, I think. And now we are on Highway 5, National Highway number 5, M5 on the maps, also known as the Binakanun Highway because it leads all the way to Binakanun. Then it continues on to Zarabla and Tipaza. This is uh, the, the motorway I, I usually refer to as the Southern Bypass Motorway because it bypasses, it bypasses uh, the central parts of Algiers and services or goes through uh, Algiers' southern, southern suburbs. authorities have been renovating gas stations here in the city since 2015 I think the speed limit here is 80 kilometers per hour Uh, sorry, it's a uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, the Sumar industrial zone is here on the right with many companies and factories. Public dump. We call this area Timet. Timet. I think that it's uh, a Berber or Amazigh word, which means. Uh, I mean, if I were to translate it literally, it means uh, navel or belly button. So uh, now they. It was uh, a public dump, Algiers main public dump, and then. The authorities decided to 
transfer the public dump elsewhere and they made this area a park. I hope that the park will be open soon. They made it a green area, a green space for uh, local residents to come and have fun. And I hope that it opens soon. And it's so well located. It's located on, uh, on this road, on National Highway 5. So people will uh, be able to drive there easily. Now, if you want to go to Al Harrash, you take this, uh, this exit here on the right. You can see the sign there, mentioned in Al Harrash. you can drive back to the, to the National Highway 11 and uh, the main bus station by Al Haraj. But we, we will do that uh, some other time. Because today I would like to show you, I mean I would like to drive back to the main bus station by the Nizamaseya connecting road. And the purpose of these videos is to show you uh, how practical those uh, connecting roads are. Those connecting roads connect the main highways or the main bypass roads of Algiers between them. And they also connect the lower parts of Algiers to its upper parts or the coastal parts of Algiers to its interior parts. So the stadium on the left is the Baraki Stadium. It hasn't been finished yet. And it has, uh, I mean, it's so similar to Beijing's bird, uh, Bird's Nest Stadium, where they organized the 2008 Olympics. It's such a beautiful structure, a modern stadium. There is an entrance here to Al Harash via the Smirli Hospital. I think that, yes, National Highway 8. You can go to Berapi via this exit here on the right by driving on National Highway 8. And now we are in the Al Harash area. Al Harash is on, on the right. And we are crossing this bridge out. We're crossing, crossing this bridge that, that crosses the Al Harash River. It's a long bridge and the Al Harash River is very wide in fact. It's not as wide as uh, this bridge, of course, but uh, it's uh, Algiers' largest river. And now, if you want to go to El Harash and Kit Constantin, you can take the, 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 the exit on the right. And now, there is another exit here on the right that will lead you uh, to central Algiers via the Wedushay tunnels and the Wedushay connecting road. If you want to go to Kuba, you take the right. But we are driving further away to Rina Naja and uh, the Geridi area, from where we are going to enter the Lisanaser connecting road. still on highway number five that goes all the way to Binaknur then on to Zeralda and the new city of Sidi Abdullah then on to uh, to Tipaza I think
I think that this is the same highway that goes to uh, to Guira in the east. Ain Naja is on the left, the entrance to Ain Naja. In fact, uh, when you come from from the other side of the of the road. Identify in and with its, uh, I mean, with those yellow buildings that we have just passed on the left. They are part of the ADL uh, housing program. Watch out for uh, oncoming traffic here. We've just passed the uh, the in Najo gas station. Jolie View is on the right. Now we are approaching the uh, the area of Geridi, from where we are going to enter the Lisanaser connecting road that connects this road, National Highway 5, or the Southern Bypass Waterway, to uh, the Northern Bypass Waterway or National Highway 11 the road where we started filming this video and of course we are going to end this video at the bus station at the the Algiers main bus station the Haroba or Karoubi main bus station Garoutia to Karoubi all right now we've got to overtake this vehicle very slow vehicle to make sure we don't miss the the exit because uh, the exit is really uh, near all right maybe we uh, I should avoid overtaking this vehicle because now the exit is just some uh, 30 meters away and there, there it is the Cuba Hersinde exit now we have just left National Highway 5 and we are entering the Lisanacer road Now, we have just entered the Lisanacer connecting road, Pénétrant Lisanacer. And it's the connect, connecting road that connects National Highway 5, or the Benaknur waterway to National Highway 11, or the Northern Bypass waterway. Cuba is on the right. Now, if you want to go to the neighborhood of Les Anacers, you you've got to take this exit here on the right. And Les Anacers is on the left. Everything on the right is part of Cuba, including View Cuba, Old Cuba. And everything on the left, right in front of us, is part of the Les Anacers. Uh, neighborhood or municipality. There is a beautiful garden here on the left where you can see those uh, pointed uh, pointed trees. There are juniper trees in fact and just look at how beautiful all the grass or the lawn is on the left. The whole area looks like a garden. It's spring here in Algiers and the vegetation is so beautiful. Uh, Cuba is on the, the right. If you want to go to the central part of Cuba, you need to take the, the exit on the right. And if you want to go to the, the Les Anacers apartment complex, you take this exit here on the right. It will lead you straight to the Les Anacers 
apartment complex, those white buildings we've just seen. It's such a beautiful area with some trees blossoming. There are even places where they planted uh, flower beds. There is another entrance to Cuba via this road here, the first road on the right, and then you can drive to Crescente via this road. In fact, there are three uh, different roads here on the right that uh, all lead to uh, Crescente. So uh, Crescente is on the right and uh, Lifusie is on the left and the Riso. This is another entrance to Crescente via the uh, Fernand Hanadi Street. This exit here will lead you straight to uh, Central Algiers via Bulwizdad. Oh, by the way, if you want to go to Central Algiers, then you've got, you'd better take that exit because if you drive further away, you wouldn't, uh, uh, you wouldn't find uh, an entrance. So this is your last chance to to enter Hussein Day. I'm in the central part of Hussein Day. Via this entrance here or exit entrance or exit doesn't matter both convey the same sense uh, in this context whether it's an entrance or an exit uh, if you take it you will be leaving this road this uh, I mean the main road you're driving on and now just look at this we are back in the area of the we are back in the area of the main bus station, but all right. So now I have two solutions in order to enter the bus station. Either I enter this gas station here, the Haroba or Kaubi gas station here on the right, and then I will drive to uh, turn left and go to the, to the bus station, or else there is another entrance over there. drive another two or three kilometers away so the bus station the intercity the taxi station is on my right the bus station is further away on the right so I can drive uh, another two or three kilometers further away and then I will find another entrance so don't panic when you get lost the uh, Algiers highway system is great. The local authorities have been doing a good job in the last uh, 20 to 25 years. And I still remember when uh, traffic was, uh, was a living hell here in Algiers, back in the 80s and the 90s, the mid 90s especially. So that yellow cab over there is one of the of the intercity cabs. The transport Algiers to various cities and towns here in the country. There is a huge parking lot here on the right and it's part of the It's part of the sublet walkway with the amusement park here on the left. Anyways, now we are re-entering the area of the, of the bus station, of the Algiers main bus station, or the Kaubier main bus station. If you take that ramp on the left, you will uh, drive onto uh, road that will lead you back to National Highway 5 at the Benekron motorway. So the huge parking lot here on the right, as I said, is uh, part of the, the sublet walkway and the sublet walkway is uh, an area with an amusement park, a beach and uh, lots of recreational things uh, that uh, that's uh, on, the, on the seashore here, on the Haroba seashore. The area here is beautifully uh, lined with these uh, 
palm trees in the middle and they are windmill palm trees. And those trees on the right are also beautiful. I think that they are going to grow into beautiful uh, evergreen trees. And now we are driving straight towards, straight back towards uh, our departure point near the uh, the Algiers main bus station. All right, guys. So I hope that you liked this video and found it useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. But don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications button in order to receive uh, notifications on my future videos. Uh, I've also noticed that only a third of you, guys, only a third of my viewers uh, are subscribed to my channel. So I would love to ask uh, the other two thirds to uh, go on and subscribe as well because your subscriptions are going to be uh, uh, they are going to help my channel a lot in order to uh, progress and develop um, yeah uh, I hope that you will subscribe and uh, if you have any suggestions please uh, make sure you write a suggestion or uh, I mean a comment in the comment section and uh, all right uh, drive safely Take care of yourselves, visit Algiers and Algeria and goodbye.